Today we're going to be walking through Schumacher Homes Bluffton model at their newest Hilton Head Savannah location in Hardyville, South Carolina. This home comes in a variety of exterior flavors, so whether you prefer a modern craftsman, a modern farmhouse, American tradition, or coastal style homes, this one can be built to suit. The model we're touring today happens to be the coastal version and it features three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms in the main house, which consists of 2,000 455 square feet. This home also has an additional bonus suite that is situated above the three-car garage. And it would make a great in-law or guest suite as it has an additional full bathroom and tons of space. On the front of the home, you will find a large covered porch that is extremely inviting and a great spot to take in a sunset or an afternoon thunder shower. There are also a couple of gables accompanied by small gable accents that really add some extra charm as you approach this version of the Bluffton. Moving around to the back of the home, you will find several windows and an additional covered porch. Here you could add a patio or extend the porch itself for even more outdoor entertaining space. When it comes to the price, this version starts at approximately $525,000, though that price could be more or less depending on your exterior style choice. If you would like more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. With that, let's get into the tour. All right, so this is the view when you first walk in. Super duper open floor plan. I just got out of the Belleville, uh, which is the other model that's here. It's a two-story floor plan. I don't know which one's going up first, but uh, man, I like both of them. Uh, each kind of have their own qualities that I like. Uh, this is your front entrance right here. It's got a nice little chandelier hanging down over the top of it. But this, uh, like, I don't know, this like wood paneling right here, it's one that I like in this one. Just all of the, it's a light tone, you know, and then it goes well with the floors and the white cabinetry. I don't know, I'm digging it. But next to the front entryway, you do have uh, a flex room space, semi-divided. You got this uh, pillar right here, which kind of helps break the space up a little bit. Like come in here, it's kind of set up like a little sitting room. Got some nice, uh, got a nice buffet over here with some cabinets down below it. Now you could probably do a number of things with this one. You know, we've seen these spaces turned into offices. It could be a, another sitting room. We've seen them as dining rooms, all types of stuff. And then from there you come into the great room. And I'm gonna get over here real quick because I just wanna, you got the double tray ceiling that extends from the great room all the way down into the kitchen. I like that a lot. Some nice big windows looking out onto the covered porch. And then over here you've got some floating cabinets. You got this nice underglow which uh, even goes over into the kitchen. Plenty of space for a nice big TV. And a big old light fixture right there hanging down. All right, from there, we'll transition into the kitchen. A great big island, plenty of room. Again, keeping with like the wood accents. Soft closed drawers. I like these end ones, but I also, like in the other home, it had a, the waterfall edges, which uh, I like that as well. But at least it, this one has something on the end and not just uh, an outlet, you know what I mean? And then in the middle, you've got this great big sink looking back into 
the living room. This one's definitely more so for hosting. Like your friends are here, you're hanging out with them. But you got a dishwasher next to that. Is there anything on this end? No. But then a wall, <laughs> a wall of cabinets. You got your stove top. You got your range, your range hood. Man, these things go way up there. Double ovens. And then on this side, these go all the way up to the ceiling. You have the refrigerator and another little space you know, put your coffee pot and stuff over here. The only thing I don't see, and it might be, we'll go this way before we get to the dining room, uh, cause we got the pantry down here, but I didn't see a microwave. So coming down this little hallway that we're in right now, leads back to a whole bunch of stuff, uh, mainly the breezeway into the garage, but you got a single vanity right here and your toilet. So a nice little powder room. And then down here is the pantry. I don't know, maybe you just put the microwave on the... Uh, on the countertop, maybe. Now, the other thing, uh, just to go ahead and tell you about it, you won't see a whole lot of doors uh, going through or into most of the rooms. That's just because this is a model. Um, so if you were to have this home built, you would have doors. It just makes it where you don't have to constantly open and shut doors walking through the model. Now this is the mud room. So you got a, looks like your water heater would be here. Or it could be also down in the basement if you had a basement type foundation. Of course, this is the low country, so probably no basements here. And then in the back, this is where your washer and dryer hookups would be. Got a little shelf up there. Now this door right here, I'll go ahead and show it to you, but we'll get up there in a minute. This leads out through a little breezeway into the garage on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side is the stairs up to the bonus room slash in-law suite, whatever you end up turning that into. And then right off of the kitchen, nice big dining room. I like that they kept the, the wall like that. I almost wish that they would have kept the planks running horizontal right there too. I know that's, uh, I don't know if you'd use the same amount of wood or not, maybe. I just like the continuity of it. And then coming out onto your covered patio, I love the bricks. I think that looks really good. But plenty of just hangout space back here. I wouldn't say it's the biggest back deck, but you could extend it with a nice little, little patio, depending on what your property looked like. Or I'm sure you could even extend the, the porch itself. Schumacher does customize the home, so there is that. Yeah, just that's another thing. Keep in mind, as we're walking through all these homes, uh, across the channel for the most part, there's a few that uh, don't do any customizations, but most of the site uh, builders, most of them, uh, can customize different things. It's kind of a fun little setup with uh, the bunks. A nice big walk-in closet too. Now these closets are a lot bigger than the one that we just toured. The Belleville. And then a Jack and Jill. Got the light fixtures up there, double vanities. And then back behind us 
got the shower and tub combo with the tile surround and a nice toilet. And then into the second bedroom. Let's get over here in the corner so we can get a, a good look at it. And then into its closet. All right, then across the way uh, is the entrance into the master bedroom. This one's pretty unique. Uh, the closet, it's got a his and her closet. Oh my goodness, those things are massive. But before you get there, you do have a coat closet. So you're pretty, you're in close proximity to the front door. So uh, I would consider that to be the coat closet. It could be something else. I could be way off on that one. But great big master bedroom. Yeah, I walked into this closet and I was like, ooh. I wasn't sure if, uh, cause the last one I went into, it had a whole gym back there. Like this closet is big enough to be a gym. But coming into the ensuite, I mean, the bathroom itself is nice. So you got double floating vanities with the underglow lights. Great big soaking tub right in the middle. And then these light fixtures are fun too. A little different. Then you've got a, a walk-in shower. And a tile shower tray also. The toilet. And then the closet, see? I told you it was big enough to be a gem. No, I'm just kidding, this ain't, the, this ain't the one I'm talking about. This is one of them, but there are two of them. This is the second one. And it is ginormous. So you could definitely get like an island in here. Let's get over here so you can, like you could do some jumping jacks, all types of stuff. So I'm, I'm digging this on sweet. Now we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, head up to the bonus room up above the garage, see what all that has to offer. So again, this door would go out into the actual garage, and then this one goes up to the bonus room. So you got this nice set of stairs that kind of wraps around. And you've got a, the banister, and a nice window looking out onto the roof but still provides some light. Oh, now this one's nice. I like this one a lot better. So great big space up here. This looks very beachy. So again, the only thing that I would add, if you're gonna do something like this, would be like a little kitchenette I guess if it's a, a kid, it doesn't really matter. They can, I mean, I'm not gonna leave my kid up here, but <laughs> who knows what they'd get into. But you got a little uh, crawl space access area up here. I know it's kind of dark, but. And a nice little sitting room. I mean, this is pretty nice though, because you got to, they put the TV over it, you got a little workspace, and then at least you got like a refrigerator, like a little mini fridge up here. Got a little spot to put your clothes maybe. And then back behind us, you got a full bath with your single vanity. Just a little recessed light, the toilet. 
and then a walk-in shower. I like it. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to tour it with me. If you do want any information on this model or Schumacher Homes or any of the homes that we've toured across the country, you can head over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search hundreds of different floor plans and take the full video tours, find out pricing information, state availability, and so much more. With all that, I hope you have a fantastic day. My name is Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.